the time has come guys to uh, pull out this five six year old lamb has avocado it just ain't going anywhere and I need I really need the real estate to um, plant more trees so I've given it um, over one year well let's say at one year to recover it has tried but um, um, a year is enough right I'm not gonna wait another year and check out what's um, growing below it the can you can you guys guess what these are we're directly below the um, ice cream bean tree so you guess right these are ice cream bean seeds that sprouted as we spat them out over uh, winter here at Fruitopia so um, I'm gonna have to put them into a, a pot and I'll deal with them later but for now this tree has to go and uh, look at this it's all black some of you are thinking oh I'll give it another year don't give up yet look at the dieback look at this all the way to the top right so I'm patient a lot more patient than uh, than most tropical fruit gardeners in a temperate climate are but guys I can't I can't uh, wait any longer time's up for this fella he tried he gave it the best shot he had right look look at that he really tried he put some effort into it and I tried too we tried together but it just wasn't enough okay so it's documented now that um, it's over okay so I got the the seed the ice cream bean seedlings out I can deal with those later now I have to uh, pull all the uh, mulch out and I remove the wood this uh, the edging you're probably wondering who's gonna go in the hole to replace the lamb has avocado it's this guy this lucky fella is getting special privilege and that's what he looks like for my friends in uh, other countries where they call this atemoya we call it cussed apple as I keep saying over and over all right so and it's um, written everywhere not once not twice but <clears throat> everywhere you never see the word atemoya mentioned or written anywhere in Australia just for your information guys so we're on the same page now, right? Cussed apple. <laughs> Oop. Got a fly in my mouth. Okay, what's this? I see a flower. Yep, there's one flower there and a little one coming. So that's two flowers. Let's hope it does a little better on the uh, pollinating front than the uh, Paxton Prolific custard apple that I've had for seven years mmm it's a long wait isn't it to get a custard apple in Melbourne so there's a few reasons why I decided to put it here first of all I got the real estate because he's out secondly he's getting a lot of protection from uh, well the ice cream bean tree can't beat that um, sugar cane once it's um, covering all this by uh, April May 
pink guava protection with jabuticaba protection these trees are almost well this one is over 10 years old right so that's a 11 year old tree that's a seven year old tree and the pomelo added protection that's also seven to eight years old and finally on this side a 10 to 11 year old cherry moya how's that for the ultimate protection i don't think he really needs that kind of um protection but he's gonna get it so he's got no excuse to fail sorry no excuse <laughs> yeah no excuse to fail and no excuse to not thrive okay are you are you hearing me mr african pride over there i hope you've got good ears and uh, one of the other reasons that this is a great location is because he's got a chance to um, cross-pollinate with the cherry moya. What an added bonus, right? Right now it's in full bloom. It's going crazy, as you saw in one of the previous videos. Can you imagine all these flowers here cross-pollinating with the African pride? Literally um five or six feet away less actually maybe uh let's see from here to there yeah six feet two meters so that's the reason i'm putting it here i heard on a grapevine that it's not a good idea to plant avocado again in the same hole as a uh, avocado that had um, root rot I'm not sure how true that is but that's what I heard but in any case I'm not planting an avocado but a completely different species altogether all right guys let's get started I've got to clear all this mulch out so now that I have removed all the mulch you can see uh, what the conditions are like underneath uh, a lot of uh, uh, ice cream bean seeds wow trying to uh, come up through the mulch they got smothered by all the mulch that I kept adding see them look at all that wow there's at least uh, 40 maybe more on every side trying to sprout because this is where we uh, drop the seeds oh, well not only here but everywhere but they didn't sprout anywhere else <laughs> except here where it was very uh, rich so rich the tree died huh mr good for nothing lamb has yeah the ice cream bean seeds were happy to grow in this uh, circle but not the avocado anyway enough of that oh look at the slug that came out he's happy to be here too he just came out of the out of the dirt Yeah, and there's a lot of activity. Creepy crawlies everywhere. Yeah, they're all moving around. Thinking, whoa, what on earth happened here? What, what just took place? What just took place? All right, it's time to pull the tree out. Okay, so there's a leading root here. So it wasn't uh, exactly kaput. He was still very much alive. You can tell by this leading root on the side there. And uh, a lot of the other roots are also, uh, oh, that's an uh, ice cream bean again. Jeez, they're everywhere. These roots here. I don't know if that's rotted. Hard to tell. I'm not an expert in root health. But overall, um, not too bad from my experience. right anyway 
I got a pot for him to see what he wants to do in there whilst I'm uh, carrying on my work. So other than this root, which I showed you, there's also this big fella. Look at the size of him. He won't fit in the pot. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm gonna have to cut him off. So that was a side root going horizontally across. No deep tap roots at all. None. Nothing going in. Only side roots. And that's a big side root. Wow. Jeez, it's like a branch. And uh, I don't know if it's rotted. I don't know, guys. What do you guys reckon? Huh? Are these roots rotted? It's moist. It's moist as I scratch it. There's moisture. But that's because it's coming from the top, right? Anyway, that's where he's going to be. And that's heavy. That was at least um, 15 kilos, 30 pounds to lift that tree into the pot. Very heavy. Okay. I cut the, uh, <laughs> the main root. It's starting to rain now. Great. Don't know. Don't know. Not an expert with roots. All right, let's cover this up with some soil. I had to take a break because of the rain. The rain struck without warning. Thunder and rain, which I'm very pleased. Oh man, finally. I wish you could have waited the half an hour though for me to finish the job. And I hope it uh, resumes once I am finished the, w uh, the work. Oh yeah, bring it on. Woo! Very, very humid and wet. Just the way we like it, you know, just the way we love it. Oh man, come on, come on. Woo! Whilst we're waiting, check out the uh, Wurtz Avocado. I'm underneath the uh, Wurtz where the rain can't get through. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> So uh, this is its own little microclimate or rainforest. I'm trying to see if there's any other Wurtz avocados to show you, but they're all up high. Right, right up in there, and you can't see them on camera. So that'll have to be another day. Another day, guys. But I've seen at least 12 right up there at the top. None at the bottom, which is very unusual. Very unusual indeed. Oh, by the way, there's the original Wurtz avocado label from 2004 that's a collector's item hang on if I can get it to focus there you go that's uh, 16 years old or wow no more that's uh, 18 years old it's still on the tree never fell off and there's the other label. Remember, I've got two Wurtz trees here. So both labels are intact. Incredible. Oh my gosh! I'm getting soaked at Fruitopia. It's okay. Soak away. Soak away. And the sooks love it. See, these sooks down here, they gave me all those problems with too much sun, um, too much this, too much that, all the too muches, this is exactly what they live for. Tropical humid rain. Now watch them thrive and take off. The star apple, the rose apple, the achacha, the... Um, um, oh man, a couple of um, cussed apples there. Um, 
the um, oh it stopped my, my memory is really bad anyway uh, Ambarella a couple of Jabalikabas uh, Araza Boy um, Canistels Sandpiper Fig yeah so happy so happy that it's raining oh and a couple of um, uh, North American pawpaws And now guys the rain ended so let's get back to work beautiful huh so I dug down again the same around 15 inches 30 centimeters mixed in some uh, um, gypsum which is clay breaker and we're ready to rumble Ready to go, guys. Very straightforward uh, job. I'm gonna plant this straight into uh, native soil. No coir, peat, sand, compost. Compost would have been good, but I don't have any. Um, or fertilizer. I'm just gonna put Rooster Booster on the top. I'm gonna sprinkle it after the job's finished. And then pile all that mulch back on that was there for the, uh, for the lamb house. Okay, got a nice sunny aspect here. The root flare is exactly level with uh, the surface or grade, so I won't be sitting in water. And now we're gonna backfill. So I flooded it twice, and the water ran through. Uh, in under three minutes which is pretty good drainage so now that I have all the native soil back in I'm gonna top it up with a putting mix because that's all I currently have I would have loved to have dumped some compost on there but I don't have any I mean I have I have compost in the compost bin but it's still in production it's got a lot of um, food waste and food um, still rotting so potting mix and uh, rooster booster and we're done Alrighty, we have a new team member at Fruitopia. Atemoya, Cussed Apple, African Pride. I bless you, I christen you, and uh, may you be fruitful and bountiful over many, many years. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this lengthy video on this special day here in uh, midsummer in Melbourne. Please like, share, comment with your experiences with uh, Cassad Apple at the Moya Cherry Moya in a temperate climate. I don't want to hear from the tropics. I want to hear from folks successfully fruiting um, these guys in a temperate climate. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And we shall see you from the next video. Bye, guys. Temperature at 3 in the afternoon is currently 24 Celsius with extreme humidity.